Hello kids, how are you doing? Lady Arlene is going to take you to China today. And I picked China because it's so bright and colorful and it has so much history. So let's get started on learning how to say hello and goodbye in Chinese, all right? All right, here we go. Now when we say hello, we say ni hao, ni hao. Now you think of your knee and then you think of the word how. Okay, so um, are you ready? Ni hao. Now it's your turn. Oh, you can say it louder than that. Let me hear you. Oh, oh, yes, that's great. Now it's time to say goodbye. So we're going to say zai ziem. Zai ziem. Zai ziem. Your turn. Shout it out. Oh, 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 that was great. You got an A. Okay, so let's get started. I'm so excited. Now, let's start off with the beautiful panda bears. Here they are, can you see them? Aren't they beautiful? You know, um, the panda bears are the rarest mammals in the world. Yes, indeed. And they are known to be great swimmers. They are known to have great eyesight and they love to climb trees. They can climb up to 13,000 feet, believe it or not, yes. And they live in the bamboo forest of um, Western China. And did you know that they eat bamboo 12 hours a day? Really, they do. They love bamboo. Uh, once in a while, they'll eat some fish, but not, not too much, not, not too often. So they love their bamboo. And uh, there's, only, there's only 15 to 2,000 panda bears left in the world. That's not that many. But we have 300 in the zoo. And their lifespan is they live to be 15 to 20 years. And let's see what else. Aha, the panda is a symbol of peace. Now kids, we're gonna talk about a very exciting animal. Okay, here we go. The white tiger. Now just look at them. Aren't they the most beautiful animals? I love them. Let's get down to some history on them. Now the white tigers are known as the king of animals. Mm -hmm. They're powerful and uh, they're in South China and they are known to be fast and they're keen hunters and they love to eat cattle, uh, wild boar, and what else? What's that? Deer. Deer. Yeah. Deer. And uh, they hunt in water just as well as they do land. So um, that's pretty interesting. And there's only, um, uh, they're only found in captivity in South China and, I mean, in China and South Africa. Yeah. And they sleep for 18 hours. Whoa. That's that's more than half the day, 18 hours. And you know what's very sad? That there are only 250 of them left. That's right. And uh, they're just, uh, when they're born, they're not the healthiest animals around. Uh, they have their issues. But anyway, so um, let's say bye-bye to the white tigers the king of the animals. Now kids, is this ever an interesting story? Now see him? He was the emperor of China. Now his name was uh, Shen Sha Huang. And he died in 210 of BC, long, long, long time ago. And his tomb is still under excavation uh, near Xi'an, China. Now he's buried deep under a hill in central China and nobody has ever been able to go and see his tomb. That's right, And because Shen Sha Huang proclaims himself not just a king, but an emperor, the first emperor, emperor of China. Now, he took a lot of mercury pills, I mean, a super amount of it, and, and by that, he thought he was going to live forever, but what it did to him is it really, it killed him, and he died at the age of 39, he was very young. And um, so according to the soil, you know, the dirt, the soil around his tomb, um, that uh, 
it's very dangerous and nobody, it's full of mercury and nobody has ever been able to go down and see his tomb yet uh, because it has extremely high levels of the mercury and it's, that's a contamination and that's why nobody to this day has been able to go down to see his tomb. Now we're going to talk about something very interesting and lots of fun. This is chopsticks and I know you've all heard of chopsticks before and they come in um, a steel, bamboo, wood and plastic. And I'm sorry I don't have the, um, uh, the steel to show you but um, like here, here's the plastic. Okay, and um, anytime you go into a, um, uh, let's see, a Chinese restaurant, they always give you, they're in a paper thing like this, you pull them out, and they give you a pair of wooden chopsticks. And just play around with them, and then once you learn, it's just really a lot of fun to eat with. And uh, the Chinese uh, use them in just about every meal, and when they have their soup, uh, their bowl of soup, where's my... Um, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, well, let's just borrow this. Here we go. Now, when they have their soup, see that? This is how they eat their soup. They drink it. <laughs> okay. Now, what else about that? Uh, the, um, the Chinese people in ancient China discovered the, chi the chopsticks. And they eat, uh, let's see, now, it, then after that, it spread all over the Asian countries. And some of the Asian countries were Japan, Thailand, uh, Korea, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Malaysia, and Singapore. Okay? So, uh, anyway, learn to eat with chopsticks. It's so much fun. Now, this is so exciting to me, just thinking about it, because we're going to talk about tea. I love tea. Any kind of tea. <laughs> okay, so a man by the name of uh, A. Wilson is the one that discovered the tea bush, and it was 10 feet tall, and the botanist discovered the wild uh, tree, and in 1961, uh, it was a 1,700-year-old uh, tree, and it was found in the rainforest, and it was a king of the trees. And the main variety of teas come in like in all sorts of flavors. But uh, black tea, white tea, um, green tea, and yellow tea. And here's some green tea that I love to drink and some black tea. See that? It's delicious. And what else can I tell you? Uh, tea is made uh, with the leaves of the tea plants. And China, uh, Chinese people drink tea all day long. And so do I. <laughs> anyway, the people love to drink tea at small gatherings, tea parties as another one, small private gatherings or social interacting. Uh, and oh, this is something I want to show you. It's so precious. Look at this. You're not going to believe the hand painted on these. Okay, let's, let's zoom this in. Can you see that? Oh, isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Can you see that? Oh, look at that. Uh-huh. And the little cups that go along with it. Look at the little teacups. Aren't they precious? Now, we're going to talk about another fun thing called the fortune cookies. Now, we're going to do this. We're going to open it up in a minute. So the fortune cookies is a crisp, and sugary cookie, and it's made from flour, sugar, vanilla, and sesame seed oil. Now, it has a little piece of paper inside, and it has a message. So, that includes a little Chinese phrase. So, let's open it up. See what it says. You break it open, and you take out the piece of paper, and it's written in it's written in Chinese. Chinese? Is that the right way? And you turn it over, and it's in English. And it says, You are never selfish with your advice or your help. See that? Oh, let's taste it now. I bet it's delicious. 
Mmm, 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 mmm. And it's eaten with, um, it's eaten with um, the, the desserts. It's eaten, with, you, they give them to you with desserts and tea. Tea! <laughs> In all Chinese restaurants. Mmm, yummy. Now we're gonna talk about the clothing. What I'm wearing is bright and colorful and has a lot of print on it, different patterns. And um, let's see, uh, the color red, they wear a lot of color of uh, red and that is um, considered happy and good luck. And here's another beautiful uh, embroidered uh, outfit. Look at the colors. Look at the, the fancy schmancy. And here's another one. Now, I'm going to show you in the in the uh, this video. Uh, I'm wearing one of those red robes that they they wear that they love to take pictures for their wedding in them. And I I'm going to show you a clipping of me singing uh, "Hello, My Friends." So here's a short snippet of what that robe looks like. Wow, yeah. Now, and here's a beautiful hat. So fancy. Let's put this down here for a minute. Yeah, looks like this. <gasps> Fun! Hello! <laughs> How you kids doing? Are you enjoying the show so far? You know I am, and you know I am. <laughs> okay, so I guess that just about does it for the clothes. We have to move on to something new. So, I'll be right back. Here is their national flag. It consists of red background and with a large yellow star and the four smaller stars in the upper corner. It's also known as a five-starred red flag. And the color red symbolizes the spirit of the revolution and the five stars signifies the unity of the people of China under the leadership of the Chinese Communist Party. See that? Now, their national flower uh, is known as the plum blossom, and they grow for a long, long time. They're very popular in China, and the plum is the best source of vitamin C and K and dietary uh, fibers. And they come in, um, in, in shades of white, red, and uh, pink. And here, take a look at them. Aren't they beautiful? What you think of that? They're pretty, aren't they? Now, I am going to show you uh, this beautiful book. It's it's about a Chinese game, okay? And um, let me just show you here. See this? This is part of the game, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. It's a feng shui game that's very popular over in China. And also I have these good luck coins. See the coins? There's three of them. And it's a game played with also with cards. And there's three sets of cards. And it's all about their astrology. And let's see what this is. This is the mouse. And this is the cow. We have, oh, this is just very fun. Um, and feng shui is like um, to make your rooms look, um, your house and your rooms make you feel good. Like if, let's say, for instance, your, your bedroom was real dark and the color was real dark and, and you had the blinds closed all the time or there was no light, it doesn't give you that good feeling. So feng shui is like making it bright and, and feel good. So you could paint it lighter and it brings the whole room to lightness. And what else? Um, let's see. Uh, oh, if it's too dark, you could change the color of your uh, curtains if they're too dark or open up the windows more. And it's just, it opens it up to make it feel so good. And I so believe in feng shui. Okay, so interesting game, huh? Now, we're gonna talk about the fun, fun stuff that we all love, and you know what that is? It's food, good, good food. Now, <clears throat> the Chinese people, 
uh, they eat, their main dish is very, very popular in North China, and that is the noodles, the wheat noodles. And the rice is the main dish in South China. And uh, they don't uh, use too much salt because it compensates with the, so they use a lot of soy sauce, and the soy sauce is, has, has enough salt in it. And uh, they cook with vinegar too. And there's, they eat so many vegetables um, with every meal and noodles. And their most popular uh, fruit is the persimmon. Have you ever seen a persimmon? It's like a uh, orange tomato and it's extremely popular over there. And I found this beautiful book with all the different foods and recipes, and can you see that? This man is making oodles and oodles of noodles. <laughs> hey, that rhymed, that, that came out okay. Oodles and oodles of noodles. And, um, and they love tofu, and ah, oh, I love tofu. I love tofu, and as a matter of fact, I think that's what I'm going to have for lunch today, and it's very healthy. So, uh, pretty interesting, and uh, it's this beautiful book called China, the Beautiful Cookbook. Now, here's something that's very interesting. The Chinese dragon. The Chinese dragon is a legendary creature in China mythology. And the dragon is a symbol of power, strength, and good luck. And this is a big celebration that the Chinese have every year. It's called the Chinese New Year. It's the biggest thing on their calendar. <laughs> okay. And so what they do is they decorate their houses. They clean their houses for about a week. They invite all their friends and family to this big party to celebrate the Chinese New Year. And what they do is, oh, they have trays of tangerines and trays of oranges and trays of candy. And um, let's see what else they do. They put, they bring money and put money in an envelope. And let's see, what else? What else do they do? They, um, they set off fireworks and they watch the dancing dragons. Now, that is the ultimate. They love their dragons. And I'm going to show you a couple of them right now. Here is what one of the dragons looks like. And this is the way they dance at the Chinese, up for the Chinese New Year's. They, they go like this. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? So colorful, they love the color. So what is your name? Um, diddly dee, diddly do, diddly dee. Oh, no, I didn't ask you to sing. I asked you your name. What is your name? Don diddly dee, diddly doodly, diddly dee. Well, well, he's just acting silly and so am I. Anyway, isn't he cute? Okay, Don diddly dee, diddly do, diddly don dom do what? Say goodbye. Bye bye. Now, we're gonna go to another dragon. Oh, here's one. Bright and colorful. Isn't that beautiful? They love their color. Now, kids, we're going to get to meet the green dragon. Come on, come on. Well, hi there. What's your name? My name is Droopy. What's yours? Oh, my name is Lady Arlene. Well, why do they call you Droopy? Oh, because I look Droopy. Oh, well, did you ever consider getting a facelift? Oh. <laughs> That was one of my jokes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I I I'm the one that needs a facelift. <laughs> anyway, uh, speaking about jokes, can I tell a joke? Well, sure. Go right ahead. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dragon. Dragon who? Dragon. I'm dragon because I'm tired and I need a nap. Oh, <laughs> laugh, 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 or you get this feelings hurt. <laughs> Oh, that was just great, Droopy. Ha uh ha. -huh. Well, we only have time for one more, so uh, let's let's give it your best. Okay. Uh, what day of the week do dragons like to eat most? Oh, what? What day? Tuesday. Ah! <laughs> Not bad. Well, I'm sorry we're out of time. No more jokes. Okay, so Droopy, you take care and we'll we'll see you around town, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. Now here are some beautiful china dolls that were made partially or wholly out of glazed porcelain. Now the people used to collect these and actually they still do. 
And there are many collectors of, because these dolls have become worth a lot of money, some of them. And uh, they just display them in their homes because they're so beautiful to look at. And um, some of the Z. Uh, and you can also see some of them in museums. And I just love this one right here. I love them all. But isn't this one uh, different? Can you see that? Yeah, they're beautiful. All the patterns, look at that. A lot of work went into, you know, decorating these dolls. Aren't they all just little dolls? Now here is a very popular instrument. Actually, it's the most popular instrument in China and it's called the peepaw. And it's shaped like a pear. It's the one right here in the center and it's shaped like a pear, and it has a wooden body, and it's, uh, uh, it has these frets. See, these are frets, the, the like little brown sticks that go all the way across. Now, this is what's interesting about it, is it could have, uh, let's see, what is it? It's, um, it's 12 to 26 frets. Hmm. Makes it a very interesting uh, instrument. And it's been played for almost 2,000 years, in China. Well, kids, it's almost time to say goodbye, and it's lunchtime. Oh, I'm so excited to eat. How about you? Oh, yeah. Look who's joining me for lunch. Isn't this the greatest? I met, met a new friend. Droopy, thank you for coming down and, and just being my partner here and, and talking to me at lunchtime. It's so nice that I don't have to eat alone. So anyway, um, let me serve you. Oh, would you like some more tea? Uh, no, no, that's okay. Really? Oh, okay, well, I'll have some more. I'll have some more. I just love my tea. A little more. Okay, so now let's show the kids how, how fun this was. Uh, we're having the Chinese noodles with, with the um, uh, vegetables, broccoli, and of course, one of my favorites is the tofu. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I do love it. Okay. So I'll serve you first. Oh, uh, no, 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 that's okay, Lady Orlean. Uh, 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 I don't want, I don't want to eat that. Really? Why? Uh, well, um, no offense, but uh, I'd rather have a cheeseburger. A cheeseburger? Hmm. Well, we all have our own taste, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna eat because I'm really hungry. And then after I'm finished, I will um, order you a cheeseburger. How's that sound? Oh, it sounds just awesome. Oh, oh, oh. oh, good, good. All right, well, anyway, we can tell the kids, oh, I'll tell you what, why don't we do your, give you a fortune cookie and tell your fortune? That'll be fun. All right, let's see what your fortune is. I'll break the cookie in half for you. And take your little message out. This is so exciting. Ooh, what could it, what could it say? All right, it says, I am the best looking and smartest dragon in China. Yes, you are. <laughs> and a great joke teller at that too. Okay, oh, how about me? Let's see what mine has to say. Ooh, what could it be? All right. Okay, crack. And put mine right here. Pull this out. And mine says, Lady Arlene will be very successful on her new show called Around the World in 20 Minutes with Lady Arlene. Whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh, I'll drink to that. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, kids, it's time to say goodbye, but before we go, you don't want to miss my next show. I'm telling you, it's going to be the greatest. I'm going to take you to the United States of America. Yeah, that's right. And I'm going to take you to Hawaii. Ooh, we're going to have so much fun. I'm going to do the hula, and I'm going to do a little Tahitian dancing, and I'm even going to practice my, on my ukulele and play you a Hawaiian song. So you better stay tuned because uh, it's going to happen in about two weeks. I've got to practice. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed our show, and uh, say bye-bye.
to, to, to Droopy. Bye bye, Droopy. <laughs> bye, kids. I'll see you later. Zai Zian. Zai Zian.